Okay, we should be fine now. Okay, what's up? What's up? We're back. We're back. We're doing it. We're real. Uh... If y'all want to help that not happen anymore, you can, you can help me out this way. No, I'm, it's, uh, it's, a, it's complicated and annoying to explain, but I need to, uh, invest in a little bit more hardware that right now I can't really afford. I hope y'all are, uh, what do you mean you're still not hearing? What do you mean? I'm moving back and forth. Can y'all... Ano... Ano... Uh... Hikimasuka? Okay. Okay, good. I'm... Okay. I don't know. I'm... I'm exhausted. Physically and mentally. And emotionally. Okay. That's good. That's... Emotional damage! Oh, God. All of my sound effects scare the shit out of me now, apparently. In October, if y'all want to scare the shit out of me, y'all are going to have to, to donate to the fundraising that I'm doing. Because it's going to be the sound alert, and I'm going to turn it off of channel points. But hello. Hello. Hello, Encode. Hello, Thunderbird. Hello, everyone. Time Ranger. I have heard the Time Ranger opening, like, once, and it is a fucking banger. And is Buck Wild? Oh, thank you. I will. I'm gonna save my art right now. Uh. There we go. No. Why? Why ads? I hate Twitch. I'm stuck here, but I hate it here. I genuinely do. I genuinely fucking hate this. I wish I could make it not do that. Unfortunately, the the one alternate place I was looking uh, turned out to. Be built on the fucking blockchain, and I'm not- I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with the blockchain. It's drinking the water! Ah! Oh my goodness, I will. I will, Kylie. Or no, I will eat tea. I will hydrate. There we go, I drank some tea. Uh, Gun in the End finally shipped. I haven't checked on it today, but it should, uh, it should be here in time for October festivities. 
God, yeah, no, we, we, I had, uh, Auburn Ranger on, now we have, uh, Maji Ranger? I have a, I have a list of, uh, Rider, Sentai, and Ultraman themes, uh, and Gridman's also in there, cause, uh, Yume no Hero just is a fucking good song. Um, but it's the only ones I've watched, so there's a bunch that aren't in here, and I think also, uh, Hibiki is in here because I can't find it, but I know it's on Spotify fucking somewhere, but I can't find it. Uh, it is still shipping to three days ago in the year 2001, so I don't know when exactly it'll get here, but let's let's see if the tracking updated. Uh, drone. Yeah, baby, done, done. It's the good shit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know why the the estimated delivery date is uh Tuesday, September 25th, 2001. Which is not the uh not a date that's useful to me. What do you mean anomaly from my IP? Bullshit. Uh, it has, it has left the warehouse facility, whatever the fuck that means. So it, 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 the tracking is updating, so it's going somewhere. Yes, I do know that Trigger did, uh, Gridman and Dynazenon. I have not watched Dynazenon yet, though, um, but I have watched, uh, Trigger's Gridman, and it was really good. Uh, I, I like Trigger. But I do agree that problem does exist with them. Met me the future. Uh, maybe it's already buried near me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. It'll it'll be here for October, and that's what's important. Uh, cause I have, I have a lot of, I got a, some specific decals, like, for that. Uh, didn't like Dynazenon. I like a lot of things Trigger does, but I don't like everything Trigger does. Um, Kill a Kill was not, for me, was not, uh, didn't do it for me. But I love, uh, Little Witch Academia. I love Little Witch Academia. Little Witch Academia fucking owns I kickstarted the second movie I have it on blu-ray somewhere I don't know where my blu-ray of it is but I do have it uh and I like Luluco I don't- Space, Space Patrol Luluco, I think was the full title. I couldn't remember for a, a second there. Uh, and I liked Promare. Uh, Gurren Logan is one of my favorite anime of all time. Gurren Logan is one of my absolute favorite anime ever made. Uh, it is deeply, deeply important to me. I love it dearly with all of my heart. Kill a Kill just wasn't for me. But love Garen Logan so much with all of my heart. Love Little Witch Academia. Uh, Luluco was Space Patrol. Luluco was really good. Love Promare. Um, Promare is just the second half of Garen Logan. It's the same thing. It's the same. It's the same thing. I love it. I do. Um, Promare is what happens if uh, Rossi was actually the villain of the second half of Garen Logan. Instead of being deeply, deeply misunderstood by a lot of people who watch that show. But, no, Gurren Logan is one of my absolute favorites of all time. Uh, love it dearly with all of my heart.
Rossi but Crispin Freeman sure is a thought. Um, yes, I have seen Redline. Uh, it's been a handful of years, but I uh, I used uh, Sonoshi as uh, an avatar on websites for quite a while after I saw Redline. Uh, because, again, her name had Sono in it, and she was my color scheme. So I used I used an image of her as my avatar on websites for a while. No, I loved Redline. Redline was real good. I need to watch it again. It's been a long time since I've watched it. Uh, have I seen First Planet Trava? No. I have not seen that. Is it good? Is it good? Would you would you recommend? Hey, when well, my brush is fuck up. Oh, who threw that? Uh, what are we drawing? I'm drawing the funny you're under arrest meme. Except it's me. Uh, cause I wanted to, cause I'm not Oh, thank thank you for the head pats. Uh, oh, okay, I will have to check that out. Uh, Toward the Terra, I don't think I've seen, but I've definitely heard of that. I've definitely heard of that. Uh, but yeah, we can, we can pop the sketch off for a second and see how, see how this is coming out. It's looking, looking good. I've seen Keys Niver. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it, but I have seen like half of Keys Niver. Um, my tablet is a Wacom Bamboo Pen and Touch, which is not a tablet that they make anymore. I have had this for a decade. Uh, I will probably the the um, USB out is dying, so when the cord that is currently in there gives out, I will be switching to an XP Pen Star 03. I have it already. I've had it for a couple of years, but I haven't used it because I'm so used to the pen and touch. Um, but the this wire is going to go at any given time. Uh, fan subs for a few episodes of Ninja Captor. Ooh. Um, but yeah, I, I am using a very old Wacom Bamboo Pen and Touch that, uh, has served me well pretty much since I graduated with my bachelor's degree. Um, but the XP Pen Star 03 is about the same size, also has a passive pen, meaning you don't have to put a battery in the pen, which was a kind of... The thing that I was looking for. Soda? Oh, Tani. Sorry, I get distracted by Bo Kenger. Uh, but yeah, no, I like I like the Star 03. Um, I will be fine switching to it. But I am I am riding this fucking pen in touch until the day it dies. Uh, it's it's at that point where for most wires they would have to be like held in a very certain position, but the one that I have in it currently has a block on the USB connector that is the exact size of the little slot where you plug the USB into, so it holds it in the right place. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just waiting. Uh, gonna head out. Yes, I think I saw you on Twitter. Uh, I added you to my, my Tokutubers list. Welcome to the Tokutuber community. Uh, absolutely check out, uh, Hurricane and Maru and Choo Choo. Uh, my Gatai the Live team members, they are all incredible. Uh, the whole, the whole Tokutuber community that uh is has accepted one another 
We are we are all great. Yes, that was me. That was me. Um, I like keeping a list that I can then pass around to people every time that they're like, oh my god, there are Kamen Rider themed VTubers, there are Sentai themed VTubers, there are Ultra themed VTubers. And I'm like, yeah, here's a whole fucking bunch of them. Check us all out. I like to do that. Uh, so welcome. Welcome to the community. Uh, Hakai's are being... Yes, Choo Choo! Choo Choo is wonderful. I love- I'm love they. Uh, Hakaiser being Fire Stealth is just like Star Caesar being Battle Fever. I should've been- Yeah, it's- It's like... Uh... Yes! I love- I don't know, I love the community. It's so good. There, you know, you just- you gotta just- Watch out for a couple of people. Mostly one. Mostly one person. But we're not going to talk about that today. I feel like that subject has, uh, mostly sorted itself out. Psycho no Timoa. Do you? Do you, Sentai? Now that I've fixed the voice. 
That's what, that's okay. She's just, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're back. Um, I have to check that and see what that's about. Thank you. I'm I'm so proud of of that. I she came out so good. She came out so fucking good. I wanted I want to do I want more art of her, but now I like I'm gonna have to do it myself because I can't buy art right now. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to practice drawing ultras. Go go Sentai. I had been resistant to Ultra for so long because I was like, oh, there's so much. It's so hard to get into. It's not, there's not a good, like, entry point. And I was fucking wrong. You just watch it. It's the same as everything else. You just fucking watch it. It, it, Acts a little more like you need to know shit, but you don't. You don't. Just accept it. You did. I, I did go kicking and screaming, but I was like, okay. I was like, okay, I'll trust you. And now I'm like, damn. They're hot, though. Yeah, like, you just, you just fucking watch it. You don't need to know shit. They'll lie. They'll lie and make it seem like you do. Because they'll, they'll, like, they'll tell you the names of other Ultras. They'll mention them. But you don't need to know who that is. Like, you don't need to know who, like, to, to watch Ginga, you don't need to know who Taro is already. You don't need to know who, like, or, like, like, I start on Jeed, and he's got forms based on, like, all these other Ultras. And you don't need to know that. You don't need to. As long as you just accept that other Ultramen exist and that they're gonna mention them, it's fine. It's fine. You don't need to know. You just need to accept that they exist and that they're probably gonna get- and that at least one or two are gonna get mentioned. And you just- just- you just accept it. You don't- you don't need to know who they are. It's fine. As long as you can just be like, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna, like... I'm just gonna roll with it. You'll be fine. Like, I didn't know sh I didn't know shit about Zero. Jean was my first Ultraman. And I didn't know who Zero was. I didn't know there was all this, like, backstory for Zero. I didn't know there was this whole, like, legacy with- with Zero. So, like, to me, he's just, like, he's just dad. He's just a weird- he's just a weird dad. And now, like, I'm going kind of backwards through Ultraman stuff. Who threw that? I know who threw that. Like, I'm going backwards through stuff, and I'm, like- Getting to older Zero stuff where he hasn't, uh, where he is not yet dad vibes. And I'm like, haha, this dad thinks he's cool. This shitty dad thinks he's cool. Uh, like, if you're watching Decatur Zio without knowing everything. N actually, okay, so this was my experience with Decayed. I, I watched Decayed... Uh, maybe halfway through Forze, when Forze was airing. That's when I watched Decade. Uh, so a lot of people were still talking about Decade because it was still fairly recent. And, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like what Decade did with this show. I don't like what Decade did with that show. And I'm like, well, if I haven't watched any of those shows yet, that can't bother me. And I was right, but I also don't remember the vast majority of Decade now. <laughs> um, Zeo makes me angry for that reason, though. Not with every show, but with a lot of them. Uh, like, I don't know, Zero... To me, Zero is just, like, this nerdy dad. Because Jeed was my, my first Ultraman. 
So to me, it's it's just zero. Zero is the nerdy dad, and then I get to like I watch like older zero related shit, and he it's like ah, oh, this dad thinks he's cool. I like what Decay did with Hibiki. I like what I like what Zio did with Hibiki. The Hibiki arc of Zio is is genuinely one of the best arcs of that show. Like there are, there are a few arcs of Zio that are genuinely good and they are few and far between, but Hibiki was one of them. And it's also the so much of that arc is like jokes on people who don't like the second half of Hibiki. And it's like I have complaints about the second half of Hibiki, but I don't think it's unwatchable or skippable. I think it's still good. So I get I get annoyed when people are like, "Oh, just stop Hibiki at episode like 28." And I'm like, "No." Uh, Kabuto was pretty good. Blade was good, except for the fact that they're cowards who won't let those two men hug. Uh, Deno was incredible. Deno was a beautiful crystallization of Yudo's story arc into two episodes of a show. I think they did a really good job. It's... I don't know. See, my thing is... I don't know. I, I really, I don't like what they did with Akira. I think those bits are, are genuinely bad. That's, that shit, I think, is genuinely bad. Um, but Zaki and Todoroki go basically untouched. Their story is really unaffected by the staff change. Um, and I don't mind where they took Asumu's story. I think that's a valid direction. And, you know, is kind of interesting. Yeah, um, well, the problem... The problem is Takeru Sato and Suda Masaki became two of the biggest actors in Japan after their shows finished airing. And now, now Takeru Sato's in a position where he can come back every now and then. Suda would apparently love to come back, but he is just too fucking busy. Like, he is just too busy to come back. And that's, like, the biggest problem they've got with Double, apparently, is that they just, they got actors that were too good. Yeah, and to the thing about Toei is Toei doesn't want to fucking pay people. Um, I'm not sure it's the Odagiri effect with the two of them, because it's the Odagiri effect is is a little different. Um, in that it has to do with why they are hired onto Common Rider. Um, it is just that Takeru Sato and Suda Masaki are deeply, deeply fucking talented. And uh they really blew up when their when their shows were over. John Suge John and Max John. So it's just, you know, getting getting them back is difficult. Um again, Sato has been able to come back a couple of times. And originally, both of them weren't allowed to go back because they didn't want them to keep getting pulled into these kids' hero shows forever. Where now I think their their careers have uh, gone to such a point where, you know, they're big enough that they're associated with other things. So they could go back if they wanted, but uh, Suda just doesn't have the fucking time. Uh, 
Uh, And it's just, you know, I understand. Uh, you can really tell who likes being on Kamen Rider enough to not care about getting paid properly. Um, I know, like, now Nagasawa, who was Hurricane Blue, who in the early 2000s, Toei couldn't fucking get rid of. Like, she was a huge actress. She was in a ton of other stuff. But damn, she just kept coming back because she's just like, I don't know, this is fun. I'm good with this. Uh, concentric circle is what I want. She's just like, this is fine. Uh, okay. I, so far, I am very interested. I find the show very interesting. It is Takahashi Yuya, who is a writer that I love and think is the, the best writer that Toei has working on Kamen Rider right now. Um, it is him kind of exploring early phase one Heisei, which is fascinating to me. Um, there are things that are very much Yuya-isms in the show. There, there are very much his... He is taking his kind of cast that he likes to work with, his group of characters that he likes to work with, and are playing with... I and is playing with ideas from early Heisei Kamen Rider. Like, Agito... Basically, Agito... Um, through Kabuto. And, I don't know, it's really interesting. Oh no! Oh no! Arcade, no! Let me know when you're back! You can't hear me! Because you're watching ads, but I'll answer it again! I'll answer it again! <laughs> oh no Twitch why are you fucking like this why are you like this Twitch I hate it here okay okay um I will talk about Power Morphicon in a second um, okay, so, Geats, I'm really interested in Geats. I think it's really interesting. Um, I'm curious where Yuya is going with it. Um, because it's very much, there are very much a lot of, of Yuya-isms. There are a lot of things that are things that he likes to, to play with in stories. Like, his cast is absolutely the characters that Takahashi Yuya likes to write. It, it's Ace is Kujo Kiryo with unlimited power, which is hysterical, and I love him. Um, but he is taking that cast that he likes so far and playing with a lot of ideas from first half of Heisei 1, uh, specifically like Agito through Kabuto, which leans a little into the second half of Heisei 1. But He's playing with a lot of those ideas, which I think is interesting because we haven't really touched on a lot of those ideas since the second half of, of Heisei 1. The first half of Heisei 1 is very much its own individual animal. Um, but I'm just, I'm really interested to see where Yuya will go because I do genuinely think he is the most talented writer that Toei has on Kamen Rider at the moment. 
And I think he could go some interesting places with this. Uh, I wish there were more full-on raised buckles, and I'm not a big fan of everyone sharing gimmicks. Um, I don't, I don't like the lesser buckles as much. I don't think that they're, I don't mind them as a narrative tool, but I don't like, I don't like the designs in Geats all that much, honestly. Like, Geats himself is well-designed. Um, Buffa is okay. It's, it's literally just, uh... What the fuck are they called? The cow guy from Ryuki and the snake guy from Ryuki. It's it's that, but as one suit. Um, the lesser buckles are just boring design-wise. Zolda. I could think of Ojo, but I couldn't think of Zolda. Zolda was the one that was escaping me. I know Ojo because I think I, I, I say it like, I call him Kamen Rider Ouija. Because it's spelled like Ouija board. Um, so I call him Kamen Rider Ouija sometimes because I think that's funny, and I like making fun of him. Um, but yeah, I, I also have a friend who went to Power Morphicon and got to meet Captain Marvelous, and, uh, he's, he is, a uh, uh, an, an Ikari guy cosplayer. And he, like, and I haven't really talked to him in a couple of years, but, like, immediately after he sent me the pictures and was like, oh my god... If back in the day I could say to myself, like, you're gonna meet Captain Marvelous one day, I I would I would have lost it. And it was just I felt very touched that he reached out to me about that, because he you know, he's just a very sweet guy. There are a lot of very cool people that I've met. Um But yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm really interested in where Geats is going and and what it's gonna do. And uh, I don't know. I'm just I'm very interested because I like I like Takahashi Yuya. I like his his storytelling a lot. Like Zero One is one of my favorite common writers in general. I really like X Aid. So, I don't know. I just, I'm, I want to see where Yuya's is going to take it. I'm not as immediately hooked as I have been by some other writers. Um, I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed by the, the kind of scope of Geats. But I I like Yuya's writing, and I think that there's enough interesting stuff going on that I am enjoying it. Like, I am enjoying myself, so. Just, we will, we will see. We will see. We will see where it goes. Yes, um, the, honestly, I genuinely think that the first half of Red Ice is incredible. I've only watched a little bit of the second half, I think I stopped around episode, like, 34, because I got completely fucking fed up with it, but I, I like the first half of Red Ice a lot, I think the storytelling in it is really good, I just don't like the second half of Red Ice at all. But I think Geats is going to be one of those ones where um, it's going to have a little bit of a slow start because it's establishing a lot of things, and then it'll pick up. Uh, because this is a thing about Yuya's writing. This is a thing that I've noticed uh, across his writing, is his first quarter will be very repetitive. Um, it will be very kind of slow repetitive establishing monster of the week and then he will get to the end of the first quarter oh my god captain hurricane thank you for the raid welcome everybody i am sonomi khan i am a former villainous working on my redemption arc i in between helping my team fight my former co-workers i stream art and games and model kits and whatever the fuck i feel like 
we're talking about we're talking about Kamen Rider. Um but Takahashi Yuya will his first quarter will be very repetitive, very simplistic. And then um when he hits his second quarter is when he will kind of kick it into high gear and really like start introducing big elements. GM, thank you for the GM PRVP, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, curious about how long it'll keep with the established scope, like how much of the season will be within rounds of the Desire Grand Prix. I think all of it will be within rounds. I don't think it will all would be within the same round. I think we're gonna get I think we're going to hit a point where we actually rapidly go through like a large amount of rounds, which I think will probably be in sometime in the second quarter um, when he ramps things up. I think we're going to hit a point where over the course of like one episode, we go, we may even like skip rounds in order to kind of talk about how long this keeps going on. Uh, still genuinely terrified every time I watch Geese that Dan Corona will pull up on set and say he's a Yuma gear. Um, hold on. Sorry, I just needed to drink some tea because I was feeling myself about to start, like, choking on air. Okay, here's- here's my thing. I- one, I would- I wouldn't be surprised if there is some kind of Geats 01 X8 special. Um... That- in which Dan Kuroto comes back because, uh, Iwanaga Tetsuya loves to be Dan Kuroto. He just fucking loves being Dan Kuroto. Um, and I think the reason that we had those specials with Kuroto and Amatsu Gai is because Amatsu Gai is what Yuya's original intentions for Dan Kuroto were. Um, because they changed his character because of Iwanaga Tetsuya's acting. So I wouldn't be surprised if he shows up in specials, but I don't think it's going to happen in the show. Um, but I don't know. I'm I'm I like Geats. I'm I'm curious and interested in in where it's going to go, and what uh, in what way Takahashi Yuya is going to attempt to dismantle capitalism this year. Because there is nothing on the face of this earth that Takahashi Yuya hates more than capitalism. I See, I don't mind him being in specials. I'm fine with that. I don't want him, like, showing up in shows. Like, I did not... Okay. As much as I love Dan Kuroto, I did not like the, the O's arc of Zio. And that it was centered around Kuroto and Genom Corp. Because I'm like, you don't go here. You don't go here. We already did X-Aid. We did the X-Aid arc already. Why weren't you in that one? Like, I know it's, I know some of it is because they couldn't get Ankh's actor back. Um, because he's kind of picky about when he comes back to play Ankh. But I don't think it needed to be about Dan Kuroto. Uh, I did not watch Go Rider. I haven't watched that, so I don't know. Um, but like, I don't, I don't mind Kuroto in specials, but I do not want him in in TV episodes of of New Riders. That's kind of where I'm at. So, like, I'm, I'm kind of with you there. Like, if they want to do more, like, get them presidents specials and whatever, like, that's fine. Go nuts. Those are not required viewing. They, like, don't even inform the shows that they're in. So, you know, go nuts with that. But I, I don't want him in, in airing TV episodes.
Honestly, like I don't I don't know if I would mind if they decided to do a Foundation X thing and had him be involved in that because I feel like I feel like he would he would destroy Foundation X and it would be in a way that I would like. What? There are they are they br are they for real bringing back Foundation X? God. I know that they brought Foundation X back in that one really bad X-Aid Common Rider Brave special. So I don't know, maybe Takahashi Yuya just likes the idea of Foundation X and is like I don't know, no one else wanted to do anything with this, so I'll do it. Which, like, okay, buddy, you do you. Like, you do you, my guy. That special, that Kamen Rider Brave special fucking sucked, though. It was really bad. It was, it was really bad. Uh, don't watch it. Uh, one of the big things I'm expecting from Geats is that it'll be, like, a monkey's paw thing. Uh, yes. Okay, so here's the thing. I think that's happened to Ace, like, a billion times already. Um, I think that's happened to Ace several times because of, you know, we, we know that his wish that he won was he wants to be, like, the famous biggest mega star of all time, which then gives him a lot of prestige and money to do whatever he wants with. Thus why he made the big donation to the dude's son who was in the hospital. Like, just wishing for, like, a world where, where you know, people can be happy, that doesn't solve problems. So he gives himself the means to solve the problems he finds. Like, I think that Ace is someone who has who has figured out how to do a monkey's paw wish. Which is, again, it's a very Ryuki... It's a very Ryuki kind of thing that, uh... Geats is doing in that way. And again, it's... I, I like Ace because Ace is, is Kujo Kiria. Ace is Kiria who has figured out how to game the system. Yeah, no, Ace, Ace, Ace is a good person who knows that you have to play dirty. Ace is a good person who is not afraid to play dirty with bad actors, which is what the, the Desire Grand Prix is. Like, that's, that's absolutely what's going on with him. He's Kujo Kiria. Ace is Kiria. If you look at it from the perspective of Ace is Kiria, everything about him makes sense. Everything about him makes sense. Oh, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Where am I? Where am I in this? Okay, we're getting there. Chambara, chambara. Like, Ace, Ace is a good dude who's willing to play dirty, which is great. I think that's amazing. I think that's a really good character. Like, I love Kyria. Kyria is one of my favorite characters in X Aid. If not entirely, no, I think Taiga is my favorite character in X Aid. Any thoughts on Tycoon? Um, Kawa, K I like Kawa. Uh, Kawa is the Takahashi Yuya protagonist. He is Emu and Aruto. They're all the same guy. Um, the the helmet is fine. 
he doesn't really have a rest of his suit yet. So it's hard to say how I would feel about the rest of his suit because there isn't one. No, I don't want to cut the entire layer. Damn it. Uh, I don't think Buff is going to be the final big bad. He, I think he is the Taiga. Yes. No? Am I mixing people up? I don't think he's the final big bad. I think he may be a mid-season. Um, I think he may be a, a second quarter big problem mid-season face turn. Um, I think he is most comparable to, uh, Palette in X-Aid. I'm not sure. Yeah, like, Palette and Hirobi, except Hirobi is technically the final boss. Not a great comparison. Not a good explanation of what I'm trying to say. Palette is more of the, um, thing I'm aiming for with him. Where I think he's going to be a big problem, like an escalating problem for the first half of the show, and then he's going to get a face turn. Or there's going to be a big reveal with him, uh, where he's going to uh, kind of get a turnaround. That is what I am in anticipating from him. But I could I could be wrong about any and all of this. But this is this is just my guesses from my my slight analysis of Takahashi Yuya's writing and the way that he uses characters. Yeah, well, I mean, it's I'm I'm curious what his wish is and where his goals kind of lie because he very clearly is not someone who knows how to game the situation. Where, you know, Ace Ace has kind of already figured out the the fucky ways in which this system works. And, uh, I don't think that, uh, Buffa, it, like, Buffa, I don't, I genuinely don't think, uh, understands. So he is approaching it in a much more brute force kind of way, which is not the way to be approaching it. Okay, where are we? We're doing good. We're doing good. We're almost done with inking. Almost done with inking. Be 
together so. Um, my hot take about Fudo Tante continues to be that Tokime has infinitely more chemistry with Philip than she does with Shotaro. Which is wild to me. And so feel to Uh, had a thought driving home. Aruto should have made the hopper blade because Guy turned Izu into a Magia. That may- no, no, that was way before. I mean, I don't know, there may have been some kind of weird plan like that in the roadmap at some point for, like, a different plot beat, but... Oops. Damn, my stomach hurts. Why does my stomach hurt? Yeah. Uh, where am I? Are we done inking? I think so. Okay. Uh, do I have... Yes! Good. This is all still here. Uh, I need to turn down my area scaling. I turn it up to two. Two might be just perfect. Mm, not quite. But I can fix those bits. can fix these. So I'm getting, like, very, very confused, distracted by my own fucking art process. Oh, no, no, you're, you're fine. I'm just, like, I'm having a hard time thinking, uh, because my brain is already a little scattered today, and, uh... I'm like getting myself turned around. But no, y'all y'all are good. Y'all are good. Um I'm I I am living in a constant state of distress at the moment. So I'm just like what? So like brain is not a thousand percent functional. 
but we're gonna we're making we're making the funny meme. We're doing we're making a funny meme. And I may, I may, when it's done, uh, crop it and also make it an emote. Because why the fuck not? I've got so many goddamn emote slots. But we're also gonna put some some cool cool filters and shit. That needs to go like up here. There we go. Get some, get the little wigglies in there. Uh, Say I was thinking about Izu earlier today. And Shesta. I was thinking about Izu and Shesta. Just because I love them. Just because they're good ladies. Shesta is criminally underrated. Shesta is, is just a criminally underrated character overall. She's she's very overshadowed by Izu and like I love Izu. I do. But like it's Chesta. Nice, get that Taco Bell. Get yourself a crunch wrap. Get me a crunch wrap. Get me a crunch wrap, Azzy. Yeah, I love Black Lady. Black Lady fucking owns. But I don't know, I was just I was just thinking about Shesta as I do sometimes. You know, just as you do, because it's Shesta. And I was just like, damn, Shesta's so good. Um, no, that would require, like, $11 worth of Taco Bell, and I do not want $11 worth of Taco Bell. <laughs> I do not want $11 worth of Taco Bell. I wish the Taco Bell near me was a little bit closer, because I would, like, walk to it sometimes. I do have Grubhub and DoorDash uh, gift cards on my throne, though, <laughs> since, I, since I saw the, the throne come up. What is an ideal amount of Taco Bell? Maybe, like, $8 worth of Taco Bell, or, like, $6 worth of Taco Bell. Like, $11 worth of Taco Bell is, like, eight things, and I do not want that many things from Taco Bell.
Like, I, th I think, like, maybe three things from Taco Bell is, like, a reasonable amount. Sagashite. Goes on home. Like, you just, you, sometimes you gotta be like, what is a reasonable amount of things from Taco Bell? Like, what kind of, what kind of person do I want to be? And, and what does the amount of things I get from Taco Bell at one time say about the kind of person that I'm trying to be? So, like, it's, it's not so much a dollar amount as, like, the amount of food items. And, I don't know, $11 is usually, like, just too many food items from Taco Bell. You know? It's just like how many how many things do you want to have from from a Taco Bell at any given time? Cuz like I don't know, I don't want maybe like seven things from Taco Bell. I just, I maybe just want, like, two or three. But also, like, fast food usually makes me very sick. So, who knows? It's a mystery. But I will not judge how much you want from Taco Bell. Um, I can't drink soda. Or not, not so much can't, I just don't. Um, I don't drink anything carbonated because it makes my throat feel weird. So I don't drink carbonated stuff. Uh, so I have never had a Baja Blast. But I do have a friend whose Final Fantasy XIV character is named Baja Blast. And uses the title Illuminati Quencher. Which is a real title you can get in that game fairly early on. Uh, I think sometime in Heavensward, because it's... Maybe in the Heavensward patches, because I know it's related to... Um, it's tied to Idleshire. It has to do with um, the goblins, because there's the goblin Illuminati. So I, I think it's I, I think it's in the Heavensward patches. It might be related to Alexander. It might have to do with the Alexander Raid series, but I'm not 100% sure. So I, I know I have it, but I don't remember exactly what you get it for. Painting my cute little claws. I have such cute little claws because I'm a kitty. And a scorpion. Oh, yeah. God, switch on is a good opening. Like, I don't know, switch on is iconic.
Where like I don't know. I don't I don't think uh Geats's opening is is memorable the way that something like Switch On is. Uh, there we go, I think. Yeah, there's my cute little... Ah, see my tongue green. It's green because that's... Uh... Uh, so what is... Okay. Oh, space shuttle, hi, Abyssa. The boys and girls. Whoa, why did it zoom in that much? Okay, let's get in kind of bit. Just check some of these little corners. Just this. There we go. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. God, Go Kaiju has a good opening. You ever just think about how fucking good Go Kaiju's opening is? God, Go Kaiju really is like a fucking masterpiece. Like it, it truly and genuinely is. But Naruhisa Arakawa is real fucking good at what he does. And was especially good at it in, like, 2010.
What are all y'all's dinner plans? I don't know what my dinner plans are. Oh god. I had pasta for lunch. So I don't know what my dinner plans are. I genuinely did not consider this. Ooh, pasta. Pasta's good. I just don't want pasta for two meals. But you have some pasta. You didn't have, like, have pasta for dinner. It's so good. Let's go. Uh, it's in this one. In effect, glitter circle cross. I'm on the wrong layer. Uh, my particles are too big. Particle density, no, put that down a little bit. There we go. Uh, duplicate layer, add glow. And then we make these filter blur. I think these should also be set to add glow. Yeah, there we go. Where am I? Let's go, Pirates. I love Gokaiger. For all the things that I, I don't love about Gokaiger, which is a small handful of very specific things, I do really love Gokaiger. What should I have for dinner is a good question. Oops. Missed a couple of little, little bits here. Just all these little areas between the fingies. they getting me. Can I get you? Uh, we might do Duolingo again tomorrow. Uh, we were gonna do it yesterday. I'm trying to- I'm in first place on the diamond leaderboard. And, uh, I wanna- I wanna try and- and win this week. I wanna try and win. I'm in the running, which has made me feel competitive. It's it, I'm a, I'm a very strange person in that way because I'm not always competitive. But if I do, if I'm doing well, I if it's something that I can do well or have like a chance at, I get wildly fucking competitive. Which is why I can, like, play Mario Party and not give a shit, because I'm not very good at video games, so I don't expect to win Mario Party.
but I don't know. There's an there's also an achievement for coming in first on the diamond leaderboard, and I want that achievement so I don't ever have to think about it again. Because once I get that achievement, I don't give a fuck where I am on the leaderboards. <laughs> I can just practice language like a normal person. So we may we may try and uh get me through the leaderboards this week. But today I just I wasn't in the mood. I just wanted to do this. Oh, it is just on this one. Okay. I'm just trying to like make sure that all of the the bits are good. But because in some areas my lines are thin, I've got to, like, clean this up. There's some. So we'll get in there and then pull this back out. Okay, come over here. There is a little bit. Oof. Uh... Sorry, we're, I'm I'm gonna be entertaining. I'm gonna I don't know what 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 do y'all what y'all want to talk about? What hot takes do you want from me? What hot takes do you want? I'll give y'all some some my hottest hottest of takes. All all you needs do is request it. All you needs do is is request my hot takes. Uh, that can I can turn back on. Uh, best ship from every ultra from Ginga to Rube. Ginga and Ginga S count separately. Yeah, I love this song. The second Go Busters opening is the worst opening I've ever heard in my life. 
What's a trope that I like that everyone else doesn't? That's a good question. I don't know if there are that many of those, actually. Um. Hmm. Okay. First of all, best ultra ships. Uh, Ginga. Shit, what the fuck is everyone's names? What the fuck is everyone- oh god, I'm forgetting everyone's names. Um... Uh, Ma is Mana the main girl in Ginga? Is that her name? Is that what her name was? Okay, we done with coloring? Mana's the robot. Shit, what was the girl's name? What was the girl's name then? Are you sure? Okay, yeah, Mana, Mana is the robot. What the fuck is the girl's name? Misuzu, that's her name. Okay. Um. Fuck. I'm getting myself all turned around. Um, okay, Ginga is Hikaru and Misuzu, Ginga S is Hikaru, Misuzu, and Mana. Um, now I'm forgetting what fucking Ultramans I've watched. I have to, I have to pull up my fucking list. Uh, X... The leader, dude, fucking, fucking Dr. Maki, but an Ultraman character. And the secondary leader lady. I like them. I'm into them. Orb. Is juggler in everybody. Mostly guy, but juggler in whoever the hell he wants to fuck today. Uh, Jeed. Uh, Leto and his beautiful wife, Rumina. I love them. I don't know. They just... Actually, no, my, my favorite is, uh, fucking Moa and, uh, and Zena. That's my favorite. I don't know, see, are we talking about best or are we talking about my favorite? Because those are not often the same- those are sometimes not the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, they're married. They have a child now. They were in fucking uh in Saber with their baby. Uh Rube is uh Isami and Yuha. I haven't watched Taiga yet. Uh Zet is once again juggler and 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 everyone and anyone. Um Trigger is Himari and Falcon. Decker. Probably once again the captain and vice captain. I don't know. I like that, that like, team mom and dad vibes. I'm always here for, for you know, team mom and team dad. Uh, okay, we've colored it. Ignis and Treasure is, is the, I don't know, I'm, I'm 
Fuck it. Oh, wait, no, that's not the save button. That's a different button. I do like them. I, I do... I do love them. That is true. But I feel like that counts more for... <laughs> oh, you... Oh, four decker. I'm getting... I'm getting confused. You're not wrong, though. You're not wrong. Uh, trying not to, to get myself deeply turned around. Trope I like that everyone else doesn't is... An interesting question that I'm not totally sure how to answer. Yeah, I said Rube. It was uh, Isami and Yuha. With uh, fucking Asami and fuck, what was her name? They're a very, they're a very close second, if not tied for first. Uh, and then their parents take third. Uh, Katsumi and his goth boyfriend take fourth. Makoto, Makoto Aizen and Darling take fifth. I can rank them. I can rank them with Rube. Uh, okay. Trope I like that everyone else doesn't. That's hard. That's a hard question, because there's, there's not a lot of... I also, I don't always think of things in terms of tropes, and I don't always, um, recognize when a trope is unpopular so much as just a writing beat in an individual thing. What are some unpopular tropes? Coyote, name me some unpopular tropes and I'll, I'll tell you which ones I like. How about that? Oh god, now we have to sell shade, which I'm bad at. I'm really bad at cell shading. Say what? What are what are some tropes people people don't like? I'm sure there are a lot of ones that people like that I don't like. Um, but I also can't think of any. Sonami Capybara. That hat, Capybara are great. I love them. They're good. They're good little weirdos. Whoops. I want to be below the line art. Is that not the liner? What fucking layer is the liner? Seven? What's on layer? Oh, layer 11 is the other thing. Okay. Ah, yes. Thank you, Mo. Hold on. I'll, I'll zoom out and I'll turn the sketch layer off in a second. I just have to draw that in. Uh, we'll turn that off. We'll go here. Yeah, I'm drawing, I'm drawing the funny mean. I love you, Maru. I love you. Uh, it's from, it's from You're Under Arrest. Which is not a thing that I've seen, but I am capable enough of recognizing. Uh, I, was, I wasn't sure for a hot second if it was You're Under Arrest or, or Read or Die. Um, because I actually had a really hard time finding it, which is why this one 
has a background that I think is from Twilight Princess or something. I don't know. She's pasted onto another background. Um, I don't know, because someone kept posting it, and then it caught on eventually. I don't know, but it's a funny screen cap. It's, it's a funny, funny meme screen cap from an old anime, and I'm, I'm down with that. Uh, can we make this a little lighter? Yeah, that's probably better. Like, she doesn't actually have that much shading in this. There's actually, like, only a little bit. So, like, how, how minimally can I get away with doing the cell shading on this. Uh, trope, like, uh, protag who always says try your best. I like that. I like, I like protags who, I like optimistic protagonists. It depends on the story, though, like. But I watch, I watch a lot of, like, hero stuff, so. Usually, usually it suits what I'm what I am personally watching. Uh, do we're gonna control click that so that I can do like this. I set this to like multiply overlay. We'll just set it back to normal and I'll deal with that in a bit. Yeah, I have a little sparkles on my my jumpsuit, my bodysuit. See? Kill Ryuja sure was a show. Okay, so, like, I'm trying to, like, judge where shading is, like, on her.
Hey, Azzy. It's drinking the water. Oh, thank you. I will. There we go. We're hydrating. We're hydrating. Ah! Thank you. I will. I will. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Who threw that? I know who threw that. Mucho, you show me samba. Nina Atsumare Kyori Ja. Hey, Frozen! Not much. I'm just vibing. I'm doing... I'm drawing the meme. The funny meme. Funny, funny 80s anime meme. I think you're under arrest was the 80s. I don't think it was the 90s. No, the, uh, this one. There we go. I just need to fix that a little bit. And then we just clean it up a little bit. Oh, no, I do just want to go a little darker from that. Whoa, uh, uh, whoa, uh. Did I put this on the wrong one? No, it's on the right one. Okay, there's some shading in the hair. There's a little bit in this, so we'll kind of turn that down. God, I think we're on eight. Okay. 
There we go. Uh, so let's, I don't know, let's have, Maru, Captain, how did your, how did your Gundam Evolution stream go? I'm sorry I didn't ask that. I'm very scattered today. But how did that go? Do you guys have fun? Is it fun? I hope you guys have fun. I hope you guys have fun playing with Gundams. Uh, it looked like they were having fun. Good. I'm glad. Oops. Doki do, ke you no de shani no te chika me ni iko o ire ore ta chino express nobiru nori da 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 ba. Hi Bunny, Bunny, how you doing? How was Splatfest? I didn't do Splatfest because I'm lazy. Hi, Bonnie. I love you. How you doing? Oops. What's you what's you doing? What's you up to? You want Splatfest? Nice. What team were you on? Who won? What team won? Gear, nice. Shiver wins again. I mean, I know it's usually people, people just pick, uh, did some, some frontlining. Nice. I need to, I need to get back into, uh, working on, uh, working on my, my PVP now that the, uh, the thing reset. I need to fin, I need to work on getting that Garo gear.
Okay, so now I just need to do the hair highlighting. I've gotten a good amount of it. I I have a lot of classes that are not leveled enough to wear it, so it's it's made getting it into a pain in the butt. I'm not good at... Alright. I'm not good at drawing, like, cell shade hair highlights. I'm tempted to do them like clamp style. That's Nika. As a walkie there, you can give me a hug for this. I know express changing. Yeah, that looks kind of good. We'll go with that. Let me just clean it up. I love Bune Bune. Bune Bune is my favorite onomatopoeia. It just, it makes me happy every time. There is nothing that makes me smile quite like just thinking about someone going bune bune with their actual human mouth. Like, just, just the concept of someone with their actual human mouth saying bune bune out loud is honestly my favorite thing. Line of Express, Jin Jin, give me a hug for this.
God, this was a good opening. Kana kwa chiyo wairama imeni Kana kwa chiyo wairama imeni Kware na ali Man, I have my critiques of Kamen Rider Ghost, but, like, what a fucking show. Like, I have my critiques. Uh, they should have done more with Arya's Dark Necron Pink. That should have been more of a thing. which again so was saber that's that's kind of that guy's heart is often in the right place he's just not good at uh getting his narrative in the same spot we leave in amazon
Captain, how how was how was how was Gundam Evolution with Maru? Did you guys have fun? Did you guys have a wonderful time? That's okay. I know. I know. You have to. You have to handle your waifu. I understand. That's okay. It's okay to suck as long as you're having a good time. As long as you are having fun, I suck at plenty of things, but I enjoy doing them. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Like, if and when I play it, I will definitely suck at it. But I will still have fun with it, because I am expecting to suck at it, and as such, I will not be hyper-competitive. Because uh, that is how I am. I am good at not being competitive when it's something I don't anticipate being good at. When I, when I am good, then I get very competitive. Psycho no oja, you oja. Yeah, see, I can be. I can be competitive. Um, I'm just not often competitive because I'm not competitive when I'm not, like, very, very good. Like, even if I think that I am gonna come in, like, second or third, I'm not competitive. It's o I'm only competitive if it's a thing where I can win. Eagle, shark, lion, elephant, tiger, monster, guy, God damn it. Hold on. Damn, we got pretty far without the music getting crunchy, too. Let me just finish uh, putting this down. And then I'll, I'll quit Spotify and open it back up. That seems... That seems to fix it. I'm not sure why it does that. Okay. Um. Let's see, we were on Zooger. So we'll go to X. There we go.
Ooh, that was... I'm not... I will admit, X had a pretty good opening. Put on that X. Like that little piano bit fucking goes so hard. Want to see? Okay. Oh, wait, I have one. There we go. We'll just grab. There we go. That gets that a little more where I want it. There we go. Uh, okay. I'm gonna get rid of that. And now we get to do the fun bits where I get to put the tablet down for a minute. Oh, my back hurts. My back hurts. I'm achy. I'm feeling achy. I'm gonna turn my light on. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, let's just grab a background. Uh, ba -ba -ba, nature. Okay, not image material. Maybe color pattern background. Just, just drop that in there. Uh, Mekon. And then we'll just toss those in there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll duplicate that and merge selected layers. Okay. 
Can I also do it to this one? So we'll come up here. Do I have a... pattern for this? Hold on. File, new, uh, with one, height two, Uh, fill in mono pen, I think is what I want. Perfect. Uh, and then edit. Register material. Uh, all material, monochrome pattern, basic. There we go. Uh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. You're lucky star cute angel. Okay, that didn't do what I wanted at all. Um, hey, Ramses, what's going on? Let's see what's in assets. What is going on? How are you? How are you doing? Um, retro. Uh, auto action. Let's see what that gives me. I haven't actually done anything like this in Clip Studio. I used to do this in Photoshop all the time. Eating pizza, nice. Uh, redownload? Yes. Oh, I do have that already. Yeah, uh, Clip Studio is, a, is an illustration program and is really great at what it does. Oh, that's why I did that. Okay. Why can't I do it? Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to duplicate this again. Uh, 
take this. We're going to turn this on. Ranger, Ranger, QQ Ranger. Do I have to do all these, like, separately? Like, I can't actually tell if this is doing shit. Okay, so that, that didn't do anything. There we go. Okay, I think that got us back to where we want to be. If I just, like, start from here... Like, is, is Chromatic Aberration actually doing anything? Oh my god, this is... this is out of control. This is getting out of control. I used to be really good at doing this in Photoshop, but it is a much different process here. Please unconditionally bring the layers together. Hmm. This might be a good one. That didn't do any of the things that I wanted it to do. Like, where did that download to? Oh, there it is.
noise. Scan lines, scan lines distortion. Merge, scratches. I don't know if this is oh, doing the things that I want it to do. It seems to be working better than the other ones. Okay, um, I'm going to delete all of these. Actually, I'm just going to take this with it. It's quicker. Uh, duplicate layer. Uh, oop, not duplicate. Um, turn this on. Merge selected layers. We're going to come out and we're going to just pop a little bit of a gradient over this to kind of get everything. Uh, kind of toned correctly. And then we'll take these, merge selected, Gross, but I kind of like it. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep fucking around with it, though. We're gonna, we're gonna keep fucking around with it. Um, color pattern background. That's also what I say when I look in the mirror. Um, what can we find in backgrounds? Uh, oh no, it'd be image material. Okay, we'll just, uh, we'll pop this one back in here. Uh, merge selected layers, throw them down onto this. Like, I don't know how to get it to, uh... Just do the whole auto action. But I kind of don't want to use the lower quality steps anyway, so...
Okay, so I do need to be doing the merges. Scan lines, scan lines, distortion, merge. I don't want to do the scratches. So we'll lower the quality. Chromatic aberration. Color noise. Merge. Color. And this I kind of want to fuck around with because it washes it out a little. So I don't think I don't think I want to crush everything quite so hard. There we go. Look at it. It looks like an all it looks like all fucking anime. Look at me. I'm 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 become anime. Look at us. We 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 am become become animes. We did it. What time is it? Six thirty. Good for us. So now I kind of want to. I kind of want to fuck with the line art a little bit. Because I feel like the line art is too dark. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. And we're going to make it like a reddish... And then we're going to just kind of tone down the saturation a bit. Uh, and now, now we'll try this. Uh. What if we do it? What if we do it in the evening? Merge, lower quality further, chromatic aberration, color noise, merge, color, and then from here, again, we don't want to, we don't want to crush everything quite so hard. Here we go, look at us. Look at us. We're a fucking we're a fucking anime. We did it. I still feel like the line art is a little something feels a little off with it, but I I like old anime doesn't have like colored line art. Yeah, he's me. 
But look, we, we made ourselves, we made ourselves into an anime. Just grab all of these. And then what we'll do is create new from clipboard, delete this layer, uh, and then nine seven seven. Emote version. And then I'll, I'll, here, let me, first of all, let me, oop, that was something else I was gonna do. I was, I was fucking around with poses earlier to try and decide, like, what I wanted to do today. And, uh, I couldn't quite get that model where I wanted it to be, and then I forgot that I had the file open. No, wait. Uh, save that. Close that. Don't need it. Uh, emote. Let me go to Twitch. Let me upload this emote. Hi, Malu. Malu, you're cute. You're cute. Chite kuzu na wo akira menai. Ah, community. Viewer rewards, that's that's where emotes are now. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Upload new standard emote. And then I'll put that in tier one. There you go. Now, if you're a sub, you have a new emote. Good for you. Congratu congratulations. Congratulations on your new emote. Oh, we radio, we radioing it up. Mm, how we doing? We've 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 finished the art, so I don't have any more plans. Uh, but we can just vibe for a little bit, for a, for a while, for a, for a while, I guess, just to hang out. Mm, kind of like stretching my back. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Do I have a, do I have a sound effect for tired? I have this one. I get so tilted at the towers. And that. Does that does if I have a voice regime, does it affect the sound effects? It shouldn't. That doesn't make sense. But that would be funny. Cause it's on the same output. Okay, doesn't that that didn't that didn't, uh, I didn't think it would, but I'm like, they're on the same audio output, so maybe. Uh, Geet's prequel starring Shiro. Yeah, like, I don't know, I like that dude. I like that dude, and I like his actor, and I want to see more of him. So, they should do it. 
Larry, I'm on DuckTales. <laughs> I'm so glad I have that. I'm so glad I have that. Just, just sitting there, ready to go. Just, just ready for whatever may need it. Superstar. <coughs> but I kind of want to go for another twenty minutes just to get the full four hours. Um, can we switch over to to chatting? OBS scenes. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it this way. Do it this way. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't that didn't work how I wanted it to work. There we go. There we go. But uh yeah. Um let me pull this down here. So I can so I can see. Mm. But yeah, uh, so, you know, like I was saying-ish at the beginning, we have a weekly goal now. You can see it here. Um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bite it. Um, and meeting that weekly goal helps me a lot with things. It helps me a lot with things. Um, so, you know, it's like, you know how, you know how you, you tip, you tip when you go somewhere? Consider it like that, I guess. Or don't. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to. I feel, I feel bad. I always feel bad, like trying to promote that or, or asking for asking for for money but you know it is it is what it is and I'm this is my my full-time gig because I can't get anything else so you know the the help that you can provide uh, keeps me keeps me doing this. It keeps me, uh, being able to do this with y'all. I just, you know, I, I feel bad. Because I don't want this to be about that. But also, like, I don't know. Things being what they are. Darian might draw. Thank you for the follow. Oh, my shit's all, like... Why is my alert, like, not centered? <laughs> I should put it, like, up in this, like, open area over here. Maybe I should put it over there. Um, but thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. What should happen? What should happen is that Mr. Beast should just give me $200,000. He should just do that. And then I'll cry a lot. I'll cry on camera. And he can make a video about ma donating a lot of money to a VTuber. If you, Mr. Beast, if you're out there, hit me up. We'll work something out. I'll, I'll, I'll cry on camera for you. Whatever. Whatever you're into. Hello. Welcome, Darian. Welcome. Thank you for, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. I'm glad you, you're enjoying enough to follow. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Over Quartz is a good song. My my thoughts my thoughts on on uh, Zio be what they may, but Over Quartz is a good song. But uh yeah, and if you if you sub if you sub or um, subscribe to the Patreon because there is one. Do we have a thing for that? Yeah, we do. Holy shit. Um, I need to, I need to update that because I haven't posted a lot of shit there. But, uh, if you, if you 
sub to Twitch or Patreon, you get a free voice redeem every month. You, you can request a voice redeem and you can I'll say whatever you want as long as it's safe for work. And if you want stuff that's not safe for work, then you have to contact me and we'll work something out. But that's that's gonna be that's gonna be extra. But you know, you just you you just contact me, okay? But uh, yeah. So for for it's drinking the ah. water. Oh my god! Thank you. I will hydrate. I think that's the last of my tea. I think that's the last of my tea, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna finish up soon. But uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you just uh, if you want to help, and look, you get your you get your name over here, and it stays there until someone else does it. Um, in October, we're going to be doing a lot of fundraising for Gamers Outreach. Um, so I've almost got that all set up. We're, I did, and now I have to fix some stuff. Um, but I'm going to be fundraising for them in October. And I'm going to have to, to make some other stuff work. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll... I don't know, like, what kind of, what kind of incentives would you guys want? I can't do, like, I, I, I promise a lot of stuff during my, my donut -a that I'm still trying to catch up with, so I can't do, like, drawing, a, a drawing for everyone. Um, oh, I've got, I've got some for October, um, for, for the fundraising, but I mean for, like, weekly goals, just to, to you know, figure out how to get my life together. Um, but I, I will, uh, I have some, I, I'm gonna, once we're in October, once we're starting the fundraising streams, which is gonna be on the 5th, uh, so next, next week. Hi, Geo, I'm sort of winning. Yeah, so, like, in a week, on, on the 5th, um, I'll explain what all of the, uh, the fundraising incentives and, and everything and, and what exactly we're, we're fundraising for, and I'll explain all that then. Um, am I winning? I did finish some art. I finished an art, so I'm winning in that sense, but in the grand scheme of things, not really. Uh, when you, when you look at it in a certain way. But, uh, I don't know. For, like, I don't know, this, this weekly, weekly goal, that's, uh, my weekly goal... I don't know, we'll figure it out. Be the one, be the light. Uh, I am going to be doing my karaoke stream that you guys unlocked during the Donathon. That will be during October. Um, there is, I have a set list all picked out, but if you guys are good with fundraising, oh my god, Drez, why, why do you do this? Thank you. Thank you. It means, it means a lot to me. It does. Um, but I, I have decided that if, if y'all are, are good at fundraising, when I do the karaoke stream, you can, you can maybe unlock a, um, a, a Halloween song that y'all can pick. Um, and that, that's, over the course, I'm going to be fundraising all month. This isn't going to be like a one day thing. I am fundraising for Gamers Outreach the entire month of October. I know. I know you do. And I'm I'm grateful and it means a lot. It does. It's it really does. Um But you know, if we can if we can hit that every week then uh I should be able to get by for a while. I love the re soldier opening. It's so good. Um, but yeah, so you know, there's there's gonna be little incentives over the course of uh 
of October for for the fundraising, and then I don't know. We'll figure we'll figure out something because I do want I want to reward you guys if you hit the weekly goals. If you hit the weekly Drez, oh my god, no, that's so much. Oh my god. Um, but if you hit the weekly goals, I want to do, like, I want to reward you guys with something. Be it, like, more karaoke streams or, or what, I don't know. But we'll, we'll figure that out. It just, you know. Ah, uh, debt. Debt. <laughs> Is rough. She do send I you so Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh oh, thank you, Mo. And I love you. I love you and I'll get through this, and you'll get through your stuff, and it's all, it'll all, we'll figure it out, because we're, we're cool, we're, who threw that? I know who threw that, but we're, we're cool and hot and powerful, so we'll, we'll make it work. I think this is the first time someone's ever, like, used the highlight my message things, you can see that in my, in my just chatting it, like, highlights the... It actually highlights it in the, the chat scroll. Oh, let's go. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll do... Uh, I got bonked! I got bonked! Oh, no! I got bonked. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it'll... I don't know. It'll all get worked out. We'll figure it out. It'll, it'll all, I don't know, I don't know. I, I feel bad, like, dumping all my shit and begging for money and, and all of that. It feels awkward and uncomfortable, and I don't want to be that person, but. Oh, uh, thank you, Gio. It does, it does mean a lot. Y'all mean the whole fucking world to me. I... Like, doing doing this has genuinely changed my life for the better. And I don't want to lose it. I don't want to give it up. I don't want to, you know... I don't want to change what I'm doing. But... I all... I care you! I care you! So, you know, just, I want to, I want this to be the best it can be, and I want it to be about us having fun together, and I just need to figure out how to make shit work. I just need to figure out how to make shit work, you know? So, I don't know. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. But where is, where is, uh... Where's Twitch? I need to I need to start thinking. I need to figure out who to raid, so I can make some dinner. I need to I need to make my make my dinner. You, you, they need to get Sister Mayo to do more fucking Sentai endings. Oh, is Rancy on? Maybe we'll raid Rancy. Oh, I mean. I want I want to do more fun big titty monster girl stuff too, just not like in a horny way. I don't know. I maybe if maybe if I was capable emotionally of playing to that, then like I'd get more money. But that's just not who I am. I'm just I'm not I'm like not that person. I'm just I'm not good at. Here's a here's the thing. I don't know if this is a thing that most of you know about me. Is is I'm I'm asexual. I'm ace. Um, so I'm just not. I'm just like not able to present myself that way. Like it's. So you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, was Ichi on? My button doesn't say Ichi's on. Oh, now it does. I guess Ichi, like, just went live. I guess Ichi just went live, like, a little bit ago. Because I checked, like, a minute ago, and my buttons said they weren't live. Ah, uh, but maybe we'll raid, maybe we'll raid Rancy again. Or maybe we'll raid Ichi. I don't know. I feel like we sh I feel like we should raid someone, but... I don't know... I don't know who to raid. Oh, That's sweet, but I'm the Ace of Diamonds. <laughs> um... All of the villains in my lore have a playing card theme, and I'm diamonds. I I am the I'm the diamond general. The uh, the ace level the ace level diamond, uh, general Sonomikan was me, back in back in the days when I was a villain. That was my title. Uh. Da Daikimera is the spade. Emmy Ringo was Emmy the was Emmy the heart. I think Emmy Ringo was hearts and Nana Nana was clubs. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure of that. Not a hundred percent. Those two. I might have those two backwards. Um, I might have those two backwards. But, uh, we were all, all playing card suits. The fault will fall not found. Uh, I liked, I, I like working, I wanted to work playing cards into my lore mostly because, uh, the Ace of Diamonds has, uh, emotional significance to me, which is why it's in there, and I'm like that, and why there are, uh, you can't see them that well in this, but... Let me go back to the, back to this. Like you can see over here on my oh shit, why is that like that? Um, you can see over here on the overlay, like there's playing card suits in the overlay, and that's why. Uh, it's be it's because uh, playing cards are my hobby, and the the Ace of Diamonds is a card with with special significance to me, which is. Why well, I love Garen so much, because he's he's the diamond in in Common Rider Blade. He's the one with the diamond suit. He's the diamond suit themed Common Rider. That's why that I also just love Stag Beetle Riders and I love Amano Kose, so it all just kinda worked out for me. It just it just worked out for me with Common Rider Blade. Ah, damn, I still gotta fill three minutes! <laughs> yeah, I'm also, I'm a manticore because I have, I like scorpions. Um, and I like cat girls. What you gonna do? What you gonna do about it, you know? You know? That's how you can tell, that's how you can tell what state I'm from, is how, how I say, you know. Mari, did you not know that? Like, playing cards, or I collect playing cards, like, as a hobby. Have I used a Spanish deck? I feel like I have. I feel like I have, but I, I actually don't, I'm, I don't think I have, actually. Um, yeah, have I not mentioned that I collect playing cards as a hobby? I have, like, 60 decks of playing cards. Like, I have a, I have a lot. I have a lot of them. I have an unreasonable amount of playing cards. Uh, I used to play hearts in college. Not, like, professionally or anything. I just played hearts a lot. Oh my god, yes. Fuck yes. I should get everyone on to fucking play hearts with me. I'm not- I don't know if I'm any good anymore. I used to be. I used to be really good at hearts. I don't know if I am anymore, though. It's, uh, it's been a while and I've forgotten all of my strategies. But, 
Uh, Hearts is a four-person card game uh, where you are trying to get the lowest score. Um, every card in the suit of Hearts is one point, and then the Queen of Spades is 13 points, so you want to avoid getting her. But if you get the Queen of Spades and every card in the suit of Hearts you shoot the moon and everyone else gets 26 points. Um, so I used to be really good at doing that. I used to be really good at, like, finagling strategies around to be able to either avoid avoid points or uh, shoot the moon. And I used, I used to be really, really good. I used to sit in a fucking Starbucks with my laptop before class and I would just play for, like, an hour... And I would win most of my games. And there would be, like, people would, like, watch me. It was weird. Um, they would just, like, watch me play cards. Uh, Escoba de Quince and Truco. I don't know how to play either of those, but I would love to learn. I would love to learn. You should teach me. You should teach me one day. Okay, we're gonna raid. Uh, we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid Ichi. Uh, we're gonna raid Ichi playing 13 Sentinels. Uh, I love y'all very, very much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, we might draw, we might play Duo, we might do Duolingo because again, I'm trying to like win the leaderboard. But I love y'all very, 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 very much. And I'll see y'all tomorrow, okay? Okay, y'all, y'all be good. Y'all be good.